Hello everyone, welcome to another video by Coders Daily. And this particular video, we are going to solve an hacker rank problem known as sum of digits of a five digit number, right? So this is a very uh, important logic which you which everyone like let's just say if you are a fresher or maybe you are into a college you should also know it right so what this problem statement basically wants us to do is so let's just say let's take this input 10564 right so 10564 what this wants the question wants us to do is to do the sum of all the numbers one by one right so let's just say if the number is 10564 so our output should print 1 plus 0 plus 5 plus 6 plus 4 okay so 10 15 and 16 would be our output right which is also given over here right so if we'll, we'll scroll it down you'll see that the output is 16 now the main point is how can we achieve this particular thing right so for to achieve this particular thing what we have to do is we need to use a operator called modulus operator and divide our divide our number by mod of 10 right now what does it do is it gives us the remainder right it gives us the remainder so let's just say if the number is 10564 10564 and you divided it by 10 so your output would be 1 10 then 5 0 6 okay uh, 5 50 6 4 6 60 and 4 so what it will give us it will extract the last number of that digit for us so the 4 is the last number we'll get the 4 as an output now what we need to do after this is we need to decrease the number right we need to now remove this 4 remove this 4 from the digit for that what we can do is we can take the quotient as a, as the new number right so what we'll do is we'll run a loop this number of times where our digit is not completely uh, dissolved right so let's just just jump into the uh, code and see how we can do it right so what i'll do is in this particular case i'll use a while loop right so i'm just saying that while while uh i'll need few more variables so i'll just create it for you and is already there uh what i'll do is i'll create another variable sum which will be used to do the sum of the number right so while n is not equals to zero i i told you until and unless our n is dissolved means it is zero we'll keep on running our loop right uh what i'll do is sum plus equals to number of uh, n divided by n modulus 10 so what i'll do is from n i'll take out the last digit and add it inside the sum right this will be my first step and then what i'll do is i'll just write n equals to n divided by 10 all right so this is how I, it will uh, it will work now at the end of this code what i need to do is i need to print the final output right so the final output would be print f print f sum okay the sum would be the output let's see i am not sure that it this will work right i think there is some issue there is one error in this particular code but I just want to first explore this particular thing and then let's see what is coming up okay so in sum also there is an error which is coming up what is it saying incompatible integer to pointer conversion okay so no problem I'll just do it a uh, percentage percentage D and sum. got it uh, I'll just run it once let's see if it is working yes it is working so our logic is correct right i'll submit this code yeah it is working fine so this was the solution for uh the sum of number so i'll just reiterate once for you if you have not understood it 
right so what i'll do is i'll just dry run it from here so while n is not equals to 0 so initially let's just say uh the n is 10564 10564 right so 10564 is obviously not equals to 0 what we'll do is we'll add sum plus n divided by 10 right so initially the value of sum is 0 plus n divided by add modulus 10 would be 4 so our new value of sum is 4 and n equals to n divided by 10 so n would become 1056 next time when i'll run this loop n would be 1056 obviously which is not equals to 0 again i'll extract the last digit but this time the latest value of sum would be 4 so 4 plus 6 equals to 10 and the new value of n would be 105 again 105 is not equals to 0 so the loop will keep on running this time the sum value is 10 plus 5 which will become 15 105 again divided by 10 would become 10 again we'll run the loop 10 right 15 plus 0 is equals to 15 again 1 divided by 0 is 1 1 is not equals to 0 1 will again run 15 plus 1 16 1 divided by 10 would become 0 so now after this point our loop will stop running and the final sum which we'll get is 16 i hope this is clear to you and that's it for the solution and let's meet in the next video.